Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can do inventory movements inside Dynamics 365 using the Advanced Warehouse mobile application. So like I said, we're going to be taking a look at how we can do inventory movements inside Dynamics 365 Advanced Warehouse. We're going to do three methods of today of doing that. So the first method that we're going to talk about is just a completely manual method where as a worker, I'm telling it where the item is coming from and where it's going. So let's take a look at the setup and execution on that first. Okay, so the first step we're gonna take a look at is the inventory movement app. So this is the way that you, the app that you're gonna use for manually moving an item. You know where the from is gonna be, you're gonna know where the to is gonna be, and you're, you're just gonna move it. So in the um, mobile device menu items, I've got the the movement app here highlighted. It's a pretty simple setup, so I've just called it movement um, for the menu name and the title. The mode is going to be work because it's actually going to produce work in the background and it's going to not use existing work. So it's going to create work, it's not going to use existing work. And then the work creation process that we're going to select is movement. So right now everything else is set to no. Okay, so let's look at it on hand first. So I'm going to go over to the on hand here. And I've got an item Z0001. I've got some in a bulk location. I've got some in a pick location. I'm going to move 100 to a second pick location will be, be the example here we're going to use. So I'm going to go into the uh, warehouse mobile app. I'm going to go into inventory. And I'm going to go into the movement app. The first thing it's going to ask me is the location. So my location I'm going to move it from is the Z pick location. Say OK. And then my item number is going to be the Z0001. And quantity I'm going to move, I'm going to move 100. OK, now it's going to ask me the two locations. So I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, my two location. We'll put Z pick 2. And that's going to process for us. And that's done. Okay, so let's go back to the on hand and we'll refresh this and we'll see that now we have 100 in Z pick 2. Okay, so that last method was a completely manual method. I'm scanning the from, I'm telling it where to go to. There's no getting no help from the system on that one. So the next example, what we're going to do is we're going to use a different app called Movement by Template. And what that one's going to do is use a location directive that we set up to say where the item should be moved to or at least suggest to the worker where the item should be moved to. The worker can always override that, that put value, but at least we'll give them the initial value. So let's take a look at the setup and execution of that next. Okay, so the second app we'll take a look at is move, movement by template. And so this one, uh, similar setup. So we have movement by template in the name and in the title. The mode is gonna be work and use existing work is gonna be no. This is gonna generate work for us. Okay, and then the work creation process is gonna be movement by template. Um, and I've got generate license plate set to yes on this one. The other thing we'll take a look at, uh, actually, I'll, let me remove this for a second and I'll show you kind of the, the effect of setting that. So I'm going to take that uh, work confirmation out there. So the other thing we're going to take a look at here that, that this works with is this works with uh, the location directives. So if I go to my location directives, uh, go to warehouse management, and then set up and then location directives. The location directives that this one is going to use is going to be under the movement uh, work order type there. So we're going to go to inventory movement and I have location directives here set up. Main thing to pay attention, I've got a couple of rules here, but really it's going to move it to a, suggest to move it to a fixed location. But you would just uh, come in here and set up your location directives as needed. Okay. So let's do the same thing. Let's look at our on hand here. So we have our 100 in our pick two. And what, what I'm basically gonna have this, this one is gonna do is gonna suggest a location to move it to, right? So since Z pick is the fixed location, what we're gonna expect to see is when we, when we scan this uh, 100 here, it's gonna tell us to move it back to the Z pick location, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get out of the movement app here. And we're gonna go to our movement by template. And the location we're going to choose is going to be our Z pick two this time. And 
and our item is going to be our same Z0001. And so basically it's going to give me 100, uh, I'm going to move 100, uh, actually let's make this 50, we'll do we'll do one more here in a second. So we'll make it 50, uh, from and to status is going to be available on this one, you can change the status on this. Okay, so now notice that it's asking me to do a pick screen. And I'm going to show you how to avoid having to do this because this is just basically telling us after we've scanned the 50 to go pick up from the ZPIC2 location. I'm going to show you how to avoid that in a second. That's going to be with that work confirmation I showed you. And we're going to say OK. And then it's going to tell us to put it into the ZPIC location. Now know that you can override this location if you want. You can uh, The user can specify override location. It'll ask him for another location. So you don't actually have to pick put it where the uh, where the location directive tells you there. Okay. So we'll go ahead and say okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the refresh here. So now we've got 50 left here. So let's go back to that mobile uh, menu device items here or mobile device uh, menu items here. And let's go back to the work confirmation setup. So I, a lot of times I get questions on what does this auto confirm do? And this is a good example of when you can use it. So I'm gonna just choose pick. I'm gonna auto confirm that and save it. All right. And so let's go move that other 50. So we're going to move this other 50 here in the ZPIC2 location back to the ZPIC location. All right, so let's go ahead and put in uh, ZPIC2. And we're going to say OK. And our item is going to be our Z0001. And so I've got 50 left. I'm going to leave that. It's going to go from available to available. If you remember the last time when I hit OK here, it gave me the picking screen. So this time I would expect since I've uh, added that uh, work confirmation to automatically do the pick side, I won't see that it should go right to the put side. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit OK. And notice here, so it didn't give me the pick screen. It went straight to the put screen uh, for Z pick, uh, Z0001 for 50. So we'll say it was OK there. Okay, so in the last example, we're using that inventory movement by template to suggest a location where the item should be put to. In this next example, we're still we're going to use that same app, that inventory uh, movement by template app. But what we're going to do is we're going to create work using that app and not execute that work. So we would use this, for example, if I was going to generate the work and then somebody else was going to come back later and execute that work. So I wanted to move item uh, from A to B. I'm just going to scan it, generate work, and then later on, uh, someone else is going to come along and perform that work. So let's take a look at the setup and execution of that step. Okay, so in this next one, we're going to adjust the movement by template just a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to check this box here, create movement. Okay, so once we do that, I'm going to go ahead and save that. This movement by template now is going to create work for us. So this would be like if I'm going to scan it and somebody else is going to complete the work. So we need to have a way or a menu item that's going to look at that inventory movement work and allow another user to execute it. So what I've done here is I've created another menu item. It's going to be system directed, but you can use user directed or any other uh, directed by method that you want. And this one's going to use work and it's going to use existing work. And I've basically made sure I've got a work class in here so it only shows that work. So next thing let's take a look at is the on hand here. So we've got um, the ZPIC location has got 399 and we have bulk that's got 109. So let's say that we want to move um, 109 from bulk over to the ZPIC location. All right. So let's go into our mobile app and let's go ahead and cancel out of this here. And we're going to go to our movement by template. And the location is going to be Z bulk. And item Z01, we're just going to go ahead and move 100. I'm going to say OK. Okay, so let's go back to D365 and go and take a look at the work. So I'm going to go into um, uh, warehouse management and then work and then all work. We should have seen that just that step actually created work for us right here. So here it is. Is our inventory movement work? And again, it's just using that location directive we have set up for inventory movement. So we have the Z bulk location. We're moving 100 from Z bulk to Z pick. Okay, so now somebody just has to go in and, and um, perform that work. So that's what our other menu item was for. So let's go back to our warehouse management app. We'll cancel out of here. And we're going to go to our movement work execute. And then so here's our, our work that's going to automatically execute for us. So we have our Z bulk location, our Z triple one for 100. 
We're going to pick it from there, and then we're going to put it into the Z pick location, the Z triple one for a hundred. So okay there. All right, and that's completed our work. So if we go back and look at our on hand, now we only have nine left in our Z bulk location, and then we have 499 in our Z pick location. Okay, today we've gone over three methods for performing inventory movement work using the Warehouse app. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like or a thumbs up. And every week I generate a new video. Generally, I release it on Tuesday. So if you want to get notified when I release new videos, please hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I put out a new video. And as always, I like to see your comments. If, there's, if you've got a comment on any of the content that I'm creating or ideas for new content that you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. Glad to see those. I, I generally respond to those. I read all of those and respond to them. So feel free to leave a comment. Don't be shy. Um, I lo love seeing those. Okay, so until next time, thanks for watching.